The battle to stiffen your collar is on. Various brands are trying to tackle the issue of the collapsing collar, where the top section of your shirt falls and starts folding on itself, making your shirt look weak and sloppy. This can be an issue with many shirts when you're wearing them without a tie. It's likely that you've heard of Million Dollar Collar. Their placket stays have been heavily promoted through social media sites for years now. I've even featured them on my channel before, and I think they work really well. But now there's a new kid on the block, the Slick Collar. It's the latest device designed to improve the structure of your shirt collar and placket, the promotion of which is steadily increasing, with some social influencers switching allegiances to this brand instead. The question is, which works best? Which makes your shirt look better? Well today, I'll be comparing both devices to help you decide. I'm always on the lookout for the best accessories that are available, so I've been pretty excited to make this video and I'm going to keep it as objective as possible. If you're interested in trying either of these products, I'll have them both linked down in the description. Purchases made through those links also help my channel out. Price-wise, I'd say that these two products are comparable. The regular slick collar is usually available for under £10 on Amazon, which is a multi-use product as I'll discuss later. A five-pack of million-dollar collar stays starts at around £15 as well, which will obviously fit five shirts, so it's quite similar. I want to quickly mention collar stays first, as there's some confusion as to the purpose of products like Million Dollar Collar or Slick Collar when you can just buy collar stays for less money. Products known as collar stays are the small metal or plastic pieces that you can insert into the slots on the underside of many formal shirt collars. And whilst collar stays are good, they perform a slightly different function to the products that I'm talking about in this video. The purpose of collar stays is actually to keep your collar points themselves straight and to prevent them from curving. Outside of that, their effects are very limited, and I've never found them to be much use when it comes to tackling the collapsing collar problem. The million dollar collar and slick collar instead aim to support the whole neck area of your shirts, to prevent your shirt collar and placket from falling forwards onto itself, which then causes it to fold and often gives that sloppy, cheap shirt aesthetic. Each of these products takes a different approach to adding that structure to your shirt. The million dollar collar is technically a placket stay. This is a long, slim piece of polymer which is then sewn into the top section of your shirt placket. That's the bit where the buttons sit. Ideally, it's best to install one stay into each side for a symmetrical look. This increases the rigidity of the placket so it sits up straight and firm giving the illusion that the shirt is made of a substantially higher quality, more structured material that would usually be able to hold itself up. The slick collar is also made of a polymer but is quite different in its application. This is advertised as more of a collar support. The two parts of the device slot together to form a horseshoe shape and this then sits under the collar itself. The contours of the device then act to prop up the collar and consequently pull the placket slightly tighter. This device is also adjustable. You can make it slightly wider or narrower using the slots that run on the inside. Additionally, there are two slightly different versions of the slick collar, with its height varying depending on the height of the intended shirt's collar. The version I have is the regular version designed for standard dress shirts, but they do also make a slim version which is meant for things like polo shirts, which have a shorter collar overall. So, that's the two products, how do they compare? Having tested both methods, I have to say they both work quite well, and certainly improve the structure and look of a default shirt. Here's a side by side of each shirt with and without each product installed. And whilst both do work, there are clear pros and cons for each. In terms of installation, it depends where your preference lies. The slick collar is clearly easier to fit as no sewing is needed. You simply adjust to the appropriate shape and size and then pop it under your collar when required. This is one of its most heavily advertised selling points and it's easy to see why. It's really easy to use. Furthermore, this means that you can move the product between multiple shirts. As a result, it's technically cheaper as you can use it on as many shirts as you want moving forward. The million dollar collar on the other hand does require a lengthier installation process. These do have to be sewn into the shirt. And whilst it's not a complicated process, those inexperienced with needlework may need the help of a tailor or seamstress, which could mean more expense. However, it does offer a more permanent solution, as it can be left in position indefinitely once installed. They can be washed, ironed, or pressed without getting damaged, so this makes them the real set and forget option out of the two. Also, there are now custom shirt companies such as Deo Veritas, who I've worked with on my channel before, who offer these million dollar collar placket stays as part of the customization process. You can get them pre-installed into your shirt 
shirts, meaning that you don't have to try and fit them yourself. But obviously those services start at a higher price point. Also, as they are fitted into your shirts, the million dollar collar stays effectively store themselves. One of the small issues I found with the slick collar is that when not in use, you either have a block of plastic lying around your house somewhere, or it's hiding under one of your shirt collars, which isn't ideal. Hunting through your shirts to find your slick collar is probably something you'll experience at some point. Now the key thing is gonna be performance. If you wanna make your shirts look as good as possible, which is the best? In terms of performance, though both do work, I personally prefer the look of the million dollar collar. While the slick collar does help to keep the collar propped up and somewhat straightens up the placket, there's a couple of things I don't particularly like. Firstly, due to the shape of the product, I found it still leaves the placket and collar spread quite wide. I generally prefer my collar and the placket to sit slightly tighter to my neck, as I think it looks a bit more sleek and I've got a bit of high chest hair. I've tried bending and cutting the product to reshape it as suggested by the brand, however, it hasn't really made a difference. When using the slick collar, the inner lining of the collar is also quite visible, as the fabric tends to curve over the top of it. This is probably because the product relies on friction alone, it's not technically attached to the material, meaning it often sits slightly lower down than the optimal position. Nevertheless, it still looks better than a regular collar, and it does pull the placket slightly tighter. Despite the added structure, it is quite lightweight and does stay in place surprisingly well. Once it's been fitted for a while, you do forget it's there, and it's also not visible when it's fitted. The million dollar collar, whilst more time consuming to fit at first, does offer my preferred aesthetic. When installed and washed at least once, the placket remains firm without being too stiff, and the whole structure remains tighter to the neck. Prior to the first wash, the placket stays can feel a bit rigid, so a wash is definitely recommended. With the million dollar collar, you don't have to worry about the collar stretching out widthways, as I found it does a better job of keeping everything central. Generally, you can't see the placket stays when they're in place, however, if you've got a shirt made of thin material, you may be able to just about make out the bottom tip of the placket stays when you're standing up close. You may also notice a slight angle change between the regular shirt and then the area that's fitted with the million dollar collar. But overall, I think that for most people, unless you are specifically looking for it, I don't think you'd notice. So that's the two methods. Which do you go for? Well, overall, I think it depends what you're looking for and what you want to achieve. If you're after the easiest and fastest method to improve your shirts, I think the slick collar could be your preferred choice. Though do keep in mind, you do have to manually switch the product between shirts if you're not prepared to purchase one for each shirt. Alternatively, if you're after the overall best aesthetics and a set and forget option, the million dollar collar placket stays are the ones to go for. This really does make a 30 pound shirt look more like a 100 pound shirt, but does require a setup procedure. Personally, I lean towards the latter as it suits my needs better. And I like the fact that I don't have to keep moving this piece of plastic between different shirts, albeit it could work out as more expensive. You'll find links to both of them in the video description so you can choose your preferred choice. Purchases made through those links also help me to make more videos, so it's highly appreciated. When preparing this video, I did come across many other similar collar devices. I'd love to know if in the future, you'd like to see a full roundup of all of them. To see if there's one outside of these two that's actually better, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And before I go, I want to make it clear that this wasn't sponsored by any company involved. As I mentioned at the start, I did work with Million Dollar Collar on some videos about a year ago on my channel, but at the time, this slick collar device wasn't really being advertised, and I didn't even know it existed, so I couldn't have got this video out before them. As such, I tried to keep this video as fair as possible, hopefully you found it good, and I generally think that the placket stays are probably going to be the best option for most guys, regardless of which brand it was that made them. Either way, if you found the video useful, please press the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one and I'll see you in the next one boys.